For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. We are enjoying a fine sunny day on a Saturday morning. We are here to buy fruits and vegetables to enjoy. And yet, the Bible proclaims that the wages of sin is death. Death is coming. And we don't know when it will hit. But only Jesus Christ saves. There is no other religion that can get you to glory, to heaven, to be with the Almighty God, but by Jesus Christ. The one that said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The wages of sin is death. We will die. Those that are born of a woman are born to die. Because we're sinners. And sinners need to be reconciled back to God. But we cannot be reconciled to God by our works. By our religion. By denying the presence of a God. But the God, Jesus Christ, said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are the words of Jesus Christ, God, manifested in the flesh. Those words spell out how you get to heaven. There is nothing about you being good, for the Bible says there is none good. No, not one. The Bible proclaims if you acknowledge in your heart that there is no God, the Bible acknowledges you are a fool. The Bible says to those who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, go in all the world and preach the gospel. You are not going to be found in a church tomorrow morning. And in 99% of the cases of the church that you will be in, if you go to church, you are not going to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ that Jesus saves. You need to hear from Bible-believing Christians that have already put their faith and trust in the shed blood of Jesus Christ. For we preach the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Your sin needs to be dealt with before you die. It cannot be done afterwards. What must you do to be saved? What must you do to relieve your sin debt is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. If you choose to die in your own sins without Jesus Christ, you will pay for your own sins in a place called hell. And we stand here to preach how not to go to hell. We stand here in witness of Jesus Christ, the Savior. God's love sent to you. God's message to you is that Jesus will save your soul. Jesus Christ is your answer to heaven. And if you were to say, I got this to go to heaven, most likely you are deceived and will not go to heaven. Heaven is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And even the Apostle Paul writes to the Corinthian church, 
church to say, Beware! There is another Jesus. There is another gospel. There is another spirit. You've got to examine yourself on your faith and belief of heaven. Is it the biblical way sought by God? Or is it sought by man and Satan? You see, religion is man-made. But Jesus Christ is God-approved. The Bible set out in the Old Testament prophecies about the Lord Jesus Christ, and they have all been fulfilled 100%. And there are yet more prophecies of Jesus Christ that He is coming. But there's one prophecy right now of yourself that I can prophesy to you without a crystal ball, without painting your hands red, without tea leaves, but through the King James 1611 Bible, if you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will burn in hell for all eternity. That's a prophecy. It's not about money. It's not about fame. It's about your eternal soul after you die. You say, man, get out of here. Won't you shut up? We don't want to hear it. You're going to want to hear it. You must hear. You must come to the knowledge that Jesus Christ saves and Jesus Christ alone saves that the very message that we stand here, the very piece of the paper that we will hand you about free salvation is our love gift to you by Jesus Christ. You're the ones that are the haters. We stand here by the love of God and preach His gospel that He died for you according to the Scriptures. And He was buried. And He arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. That is the love of God. You yourself have no love. Because you, as vendors, you want the people's money. You, as consumers, you want the best for your money. But there's no realm of your eternalness being at the farmer's market. The money that you gain will go away. It'll fly off. It'll say bye-bye. The fruits and vegetables that you buy, they will either be consumed or rot. They're not eternal. So as we do commerce here in Daytona Beach, there's no eternalness of what you're doing right now. You're here to satisfy your pocket or you're here to satisfy your mouth. And we preach to satisfy your eternal life through Jesus Christ. We're here to tell you if you're to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and have your sins washed away by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, that in heaven you'll be before the Father. That when you die, you will be settled to heaven to God. And after death, the Bible speaks about a new body. How's your body doing? How is the ever looted body doing to you that is supposedly getting better and better in the lie they've been feeding you in the public schools? And yet, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you suffer from pain today, when you die or rapture, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll be taken to a place where there's no more pain, no more sorrow. I say when you die and get to glory, there's no pain or sorrow. I'm not saying right here, right now. We live in a sin-cursed world of suffering and tears. But in glory, God will take care of you by your reaction to the message of Jesus Christ. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved, and God will take care of you. God will uncurse your...
your body in the eternal life. Reject Jesus Christ and God will cast you off in a place called hell to pay for your own sins. You see, either Jesus Christ will pay for your sins and has, or you can pay for your own sins. The problem is with you paying for your own sins is that your sin debt will cover eternity. If your sins are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ, it was taken care of about 33 A.D. And it was three days and three nights. If you choose to reject Jesus Christ and pay for your own sins, you will enter into the lake of fire that burneth forever and ever and ever and ever and no relief. Sin, the wages of sin, is death. Because of Adam, man has a terminal disease called sin. As a sinner you will die, but as a sinner to eternal life, eternal life, you can deal with that condition right now by coming to Jesus Christ. And putting your faith and trust in the shed blood of Jesus that can save your soul. You walk around, ah, uh, he'll go away within an hour. 45 minutes he'll be gone. But eternity will not be gone. And your eternity rests upon the fact of what you do with Jesus Christ or what you don't do. I am not promising, believing on Jesus, your life right now today in this earth is going to be wonderful. I am not promising you fame and fortune. But I am promising you by the shed blood of Jesus Christ that you can change your destination from hell to heaven by Calvary's cross. See, a Christian is someone who doesn't go to church. He doesn't go to school. A Christian is a person who has come to the cross of Jesus Christ, who has come to Calvary, and has admitted and repented to God of their sins. And they are sorry of their sins. And they plead to God through Jesus Christ to be washed from their sins by the finished work of Jesus upon that cross. You don't eat Jesus. You do not kill anybody. You receive Jesus Christ by faith of the Word of God. It's not just a prayer. It is your faith and belief in your heart that Jesus Christ is able and has cleansed you of your sins. Anything else is the lake of fire. You see, death is coming. For some of you, death may be today. I don't care what age you are. Death may be today. It may be tomorrow. But now is the time of salvation. Now is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. God says, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. It is something not to be put off. Because you don't know when. You might know the way of salvation and say, hey, I'm going to put it off till I'm a certain age. I want to sow my wild oaks. I 
want to live free. I want to. I want to do all I can do, and then I'll trust Jesus, like you say. And then death happens before you believe on Jesus, and then you end up in hell. And you can't change it. Now the Bible says, now, don't wait. And yet the Bible also says that God is long-suffering. You may have, whatever reason, have come to the Daytona Beach Farmer's Market, for God to have you hear the gospel. And to receive the gospel. Because you don't know what you'll be tomorrow. If there'll be a tomorrow for you. There are no promises. The only promise I have for you is that Jesus will save your soul if you come to Him by faith and trust through your heart. And not just lip service. You can Jesus, Jesus, Jesus all you want. But is He your Savior? Or just a bunch of words out of your mouth? See, you've got to know the Savior. You've got to know and believe He's able to save your soul. You've got to know the one that was born of a virgin. You've got to know the one that is God and human. 100% human, 100% God. And you've got to believe on His merit and His work of dying for our sins according to the Scriptures. And that they buried Him. And He arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. It's that simple. It's only man and Satan that makes it more complicated than it should be. As there is a God in heaven, there is a Satan, the enemy. And of course, Satan does not want you to go to God because Satan wants your worship. And Jesus Christ will set you free. By His blood atonement, that Allah cannot save you. Allah will stand before God Jehovah one day and proclaim Him as God, as Savior. Jesus Christ is above religion. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. There is no bondage through, Je through, through Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of the world. You must come to Jesus Christ as a sinner. Sorry and repentful of your sins. God only receives the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. And if you prove to God by shedding people's blood, God will acknowledge you as a murderer. And murderers are sinners. And unless you repent, you'll burn in hell. Murder, adultery, fornication, lies, and theft will not get you into hell. That's who you are. You are the sinner. What will put you into hell is rejecting the finished work of Jesus Christ. What will get you into hell is being a Baptist. What will get you in the lake of fire is being a Catholic. But what will get you into heaven is by the one that said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father.
Father but by me, and that is Jesus Christ. God has set forth one way. God has set forth the straight gate that's Jesus Christ, and few that be therein that will enter. And Satan has set forth the broad way, which many shall go in the way of destruction. You can be set free from your sins. You can be set free from the bondage of Satan in his eternal place of hell by the finished work of Jesus Christ. You can come to Jesus Christ as the sinner you are and be saved today. And you do not have to tell us anything about your life. You do not have to proclaim your sins. I don't want to know what your sins are. I don't need to know what your sins are. I'm a sinner. And it will do you no good to profess your sins before another sinner. But if you were to profess your sins to the one that died for your sins, Jesus Christ, now you're going somewhere. If you were to confess your sins to Jesus Christ, who is God, and who was man, you will be going to a place called glory, to heaven, to have access to God the Father by the finished work and the blood and atonement of Jesus Christ. But, if you go in the name of religion, you'll burn in hell. If you, if you deny God, you'll go to hell. If you, oh, I'm good, I'm doing great, you'll go to hell. But I have asked Jesus to save my soul, I have repented of my sins, you'll go to heaven. There's no cash, check, or credit going to heaven. It is by the precious blood of the Lamb of God which take away the sin of our world. It is surely, it is surely goodness and mercy that Jesus Christ can wash us of our sins so that we can go to be with God. It is of the devil's unmercifulness, ungracefulness of Satan that you will burn in hell with him, doing something that you think is right that's not right. Listen, I am not a Baptist. Though I may call myself a Baptist, I am not a Baptist. I am a born-again, Bible-believing Christian. Washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. There was no prayer but asking God to forgive me, a sinner that I was. There was nothing I could offer God but a sinner. A sinner that was condemned to hell, John chapter 3. Most of you that can hear my voice, your sin debt is still on the books. And when those books... And you will want to believe on Jesus, but you cannot at that point. Once you stand at that final judgment day of God and you don't have Jesus Christ, you are condemned to be damned the entire life that you will have. 
and you will be cast into the lake of fire that burneth by the one that we preach, Jesus Christ. It's simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Come to Jesus, the person who you are, what you are. Repent of those sins and get right with God by Jesus Christ. God does not want you to come up to Him and say, Hey, God, what's up, big man? Aren't you just so happy of who I am? No. You are a piece of dirt made by God and breathed into your nostrils the breath of life by the Creator. And it wasn't for the mercy and grace of God, the human race would not even be here. If it wasn't for the long suffering of God, you wouldn't be hearing his message today. And what is the message? That Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I'm not asking for cash. I'm not asking for your royalty. I'm not asking you to do anything but to believe on Jesus Christ as your Savior. The only thing we want from you is for you to repent to God through Jesus Christ of your sins. And we want you to be washed in that Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Because if you are washed by Jesus Christ, then your name goes in the Lamb Book of Life. And then when you die... You don't go to hell, you go to heaven. By the finished work of Jesus Christ, the Bible proclaims that you even become a child of God. And the benefits of salvation through Jesus Christ are wonderful. When you get to heaven by Jesus Christ, your medical health care plan is excellent. There's no premiums. And there are no health problems in heaven by Jesus Christ. When you believe on Jesus Christ and when you get to heaven, God will furnish you with a brand new uncursed body. That's written in the Word. That's a promise of God. And yet, if you choose to reject Jesus Christ, you'll get a body that will suffer and burn and be tormented. And there is no end of time. You see, when you die, you enter into a time that there's no more time. There are no more clocks. There are no more appointment books. To be forever settled with God by Jesus Christ or be forever tormented by rejecting Jesus Christ. That's it. Good morning, y'all. Good to see you again. And the main subject, the main thing that God has pointed you is He has given you the decision to make. He has given you a free will. And when you are cast out into darkness of sulfur burning in hell, it is no one's fault but yours. 
And you have heard the gospel being preached. You have heard that Jesus saves. You now stand condemned. You cannot tell God I never knew because God has sent you a loud mouth preacher to tell you what you need to do. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You have no excuse anymore. And if you reject the gospel that is being preached to you right now, it's your condemnation. It's your tormenting. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What, we, what we're talking about, Jesus, is a free gift of God. It is the love of God. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Those are the words of God. Out of the King James 1611 Bible, The Bible says, come now, come on, step out. We'll take the Bible and we'll witness to you and show you the means that God will have you to be saved properly. Once you die, that's it. The Bible says in Luke 16, when you die without Christ, you open up your eyes in hell. The torments begin as soon as you die without Christ. And you will never be relieved. You'll never have anything that will take the pain away. Jesus Christ and the faith and trust of His shed blood, what they can do for you. Number one, by believing on Jesus Christ as your Savior, there is no hell. There's no torment. That ought to be enough. So you get to be forever with the one that created you, and you get to be forever with the one that loved you, and you get to be forever with the one that suffered and died and bled for you. And it'll be all hail to the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And if you don't want God, you don't want Jesus? There's a perfect place for you called hell. But without God and Jesus, there's no mercy, there's no grace, there's no love. There is no care. That comes with God, not Satan. And when you give up on God, you give up on wonderful, great things. If you don't want to believe on Jesus Christ and your life is hell right now, what are you going to do when you die in hell? There's no pharmacy. There's no alcohol. There's no partying. There's no music. Well, where are you going to plug it in? What are you going to do when your life is a travesty of damnation and torment? And you can't reach for a bottle. 
You can't reach for a shot. You can't get a prescription. There is no relief without the Son of God, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now do you want me to describe your father in John 8, 44, Satan? He's not a liar. He's the liar. He's a murderer. And he knows nothing of mercy and grace. And yet God is full of compassion to his long suffering. That those who have believed on him take the gospel out where it's never been preached. The people who have not heard. The people that have heard. And He gives you longer life to hear what God can do to you through Jesus Christ. And what God can do to you when you choose to reject Jesus Christ. Eternal life rests upon Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone.